These rainbow-colored beauties are scarlet macaws, one of the most charismatic birds of the tropical rainforests. Unfortunately, in their native range in Latin America, things are not as happy as the pop culture images might suggest. My name is Don Brightsmith, director of the Tumble Pots and Macaw Project. I've been studying scarlet macaws in the wild for the last 20 years. Unfortunately, habitat loss and capture for the illegal pet trade are reducing wild scarlet macaw populations in many areas of Central and South America. The scarlet macaw needs your help. Fortunately, scientists in Peru, Mexico, Guatemala, Costa Rica, and across the Americas are working hard to help the recovery of this species. We at the Tambopata Macaw Project in Peru have a long history of developing new management techniques that these colleagues can use to help manage wild populations. We have pioneered the use of nest boxes to increase macaw reproductive success. We've also tested new techniques to save, raise, and release macaws back into the wild. We're ready to take on new challenges and develop new ways to help save these birds. Our data show that the leading cause of scarlet macaw chick death is starvation. Scarlet macaws hatch one to four chicks per nest, and we found that macaw parents are extremely attentive to the first chick that hatches in the nest. Half of the second chicks are brooded and carefully fed, just like their older siblings. But the rest of these second chicks are fed only rarely and often ignored by their parents for hours at a time. The same thing happens with nearly all of the third and fourth chicks that hatch. When we find chicks at a high risk of starvation, we will remove them from their original nest and care for them in our research station until they are big enough and strong enough to go back into the wild. We will then use video cameras and daily health checks to closely monitor their interactions with their new foster parents. In this way, they will learn all the skills they need to survive and reproduce for decades to come in the forests of Tambopata. But now, we need your help to obtain the staff and equipment to develop and test these life-saving techniques. Once we've worked out the details, other researchers from across the Americas and around the world will be able to save macaw chicks and help endangered parrots recover from decades of population decline. It seems like such a waste to let a healthy baby macaw just starve to death. And in so many areas, macaw populations are declining or endangered. We need your assistance to find a way to help these birds survive, not just to save a life, but to help save a species.